Today's Mass Readings May 2, 2020 Saturday The Saturday of the third week of Easter First Reading A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Acts chapter 9 verse 31 to 42 the church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria, was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once. And all the inhabitants of Lydda and Sharon saw him. And they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and alms giving. Now during those days she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs, where all the widows came to him weeping, and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa. And many came to believe in the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 116 verse 12 to 17 Let our response be, How shall I make a return to the Lord, for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord, for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord, for all the good he has done for me? My vows to the Lord I will pay, in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord, is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord, for all the good he has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord, for all the good he has done for me? Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 6 verse 60 to 69 Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe, and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me, unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life, and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe, 
and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Before we proceed, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button, and subscribe to this channel. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you don't miss out on new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections on the comment section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's continue with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel Just when Jesus had fully revealed himself, when he was at his most vulnerable, people walked away. Can you step into him and reveal what that must be like? That as soon as you reveal who you really, our people can take you and walk away. Jesus turns to those closest to him. Is he in trepidation at being rejected by all? Do you also wish to go away? It must have been hugely relieving and confirming. To hear the response Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. On what grounds do people walk away from Jesus today? How much is he and his message distorted by a flawed church? To what extent have you walked away from Jesus? And what makes you draw near to him? The teaching about the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist is difficult. Believing in it is an act of faith which is a gift of the Father. Like any gift we receive, it is useless unless we use it. We renew our faith each time we kneel in Jesus presence and adore him. Jesus did not try to explain away what he had said, even when many of his disciples no longer went about with him. He knows that he is nothing less than the long for divine presence in our world. Lord, deepen my commitment to you and to your word.